I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Tin One Resources focused on advancing its high-quality portfolio of tin projects in the Tier 1 mining jurisdictions of Tasmania and New South Wales, Australia, has discovered lithium at its Aberfoyle project in Australia. The 100% owned 9,600 hectare Aberfoyle project is located in the Tier 1 mining jurisdiction of Tasmania, Australia. Chris Donaldson, Tin One's executive chairman, has joined us today to discuss this news. Welcome, Chris. Thanks, Ebony. Yeah, uh, pretty exciting times for us. Um, you know, of course, our, our focus has been on our great uh, pyramid project where we've been again, drilling. We did almost 5,000 meters, uh, looking to expand on the, the uh, historical resource there. But while that was going on, um, we were doing some mapping and, and soil sampling up at our Aberfoyle project, which is just 30 minutes or so down the road. Um, both projects, of course, in, in Northeast Tasmania. Um, Aberfoyle itself is, is historical uh, tin and tungsten producing district, uh, produced over 2 million tons um, of those materials. And, and so we went back and, and um, weren't looking specifically for, for lithium, but did... Uh, um, some multi-element testing on grab samples that we had and, and lo and behold, uh, found some pretty elevated levels of, of lithium in, in the micubs. Um, so very exciting, uh, early days, uh, for sure. But, um, you know, we're, we're pleased obviously with the results and the fact that it, lo it looks like it's distributed over quite a large area, eight kilometers by four kilometers. So, uh, right now our next steps, we have uh, geologists on the ground to continue that, uh, more targeted um, sampling program and, and, and mapping and uh, should have some more results in the next few weeks. So um, stay tuned. Thank you, Chris. During reconnaissance exploration programs for tin across the Aberfoyle project, the company's geologist sampled mica altered granite, where 10 samples returned highly elevated lithium values of 0.1% lithium oxide or above, with a maximum of 0.57% lithium oxide. Samples that returned 0.1% or more lithium oxide were sent for analysis at SGS Townsville, Australia, and returned values consistent with the original ALS results, thereby confirming the significance and validity of the original laboratory results. These elevated lithium samples came from three separate areas over an area of more than 8 kilometers by 4 kilometers, suggesting that the lithium occurrences are not isolated and may be a part of a previously unrecognized lithium camp. The main area of elevated lithium sampled to date covers the historic guinea pig and dead pig small-scale tin mining prospects, with five of the seven rock samples collected over an area of approximately 600 by 250 meters, returning values over 0.1% lithium oxide and up to 0.57% lithium oxide. Approximately two kilometers north of the guinea pig prospect, two samples in the Aqua Creek area returned 0.10% and 0.12% lithium oxide, respectively. In addition, another sample collected at the Tasmania Creek prospect to the northeast returned 0.22% lithium oxide, and one sample a further one kilometer north returned 0.1% lithium oxide. Selected higher-grade samples were also analyzed by X-ray diffraction at the Mineral Resources Tasmania Laboratory and confirmed the presence of substantial quantities of the mica zinwaldite, which is globally the most important mica host for hard rock lithium deposits. This table shows a few lithium mica deposits worldwide. As shown here, Australia produces more than 50% of the world's lithium, with China accounting for more than 90% of its exports. However, as reported by Bloomberg, these exports are expected to decrease as several companies are currently building refineries in Australia that would turn locally mined lithium ore into battery-grade chemicals for sale on world markets. Global lithium production surpassed 100,000 tonnes for the first time in 2021, quadrupling from 2010, with the demand for lithium expected to reach 1.5 million tonnes of lithium carbonate equivalent by 2025 and more than 3 million tons by 2030. As mentioned, the Great Pyramid Tin Project is the company's most advanced and active project in its portfolio. The Strilcore averages 0.67% tin. Great Pyramid has a historical mineral resource estimate from 2012, which showed an inferred mineral resource of 10.4 kilotons of contained tin. Management cautions that this estimate is not supported by a technical report completed in accordance with the NI43101. Tin One Resources is one of the Inventa Capital Portfolio companies. 
the shares are trading at 14.5 cents. For more information on the company's portfolio of properties, which includes some of the most important tin districts in Tasmania, please visit the company's website, tin1.ca. Contact Chris Donaldson, Executive Chairman at 604-813-3931, or by email at info at tin1.ca. I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media.